Alright guys, uh, welcome back to the video. Uh, in this video, we will be installing the UHC blocks in uh, the mall UHC module. Uh, so I really hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and without further ado, let's just get started. <laughs> Alright, so if you want to set this up, um, first thing that you have to do uh, is you have to create yourself a world. Uh, so I've already created one here, uh, but I would want you to find a cool seed, uh, looks nice, uh, has a lot of forest in it, and then you just want to go in it. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Uh, once you get inside of the world, uh, you're going to probably spawn somewhere close to zero zero. Not zero zero though. Uh, so what I want you to do is I want you to TP. Uh, you can do at P. That will do you. That will TP you, the player typing the command. And then you just want to type in uh, zero zero. So the zero zero, and then it's just a hundred Y. Uh, so we don't get stuck in the air. Uh, if this happens to you, you can go to open LAN and allow cheats. Uh, if you forgot to change that. All right. So now we are at zero zero. As you can see, this is kind of in bad a bad area. Uh, so you can just move slightly off it uh, to get a better spawn location. So once um, you got yourself a pretty good location, really close uh, to zero zero. Uh, you want to get yourself a command block, which can be done like this. Uh, give snacker command underscore block just like that all right i'm just gonna get myself one uh so you want to place it uh wherever uh, zero zero is or, or close to it uh you just put that down there uh now what i want you to do i want you to go to the link in the description uh the uhc blocks post uh if you go down on the page a little bit you will see a um uhc core button you can put click that and then you can put the link into this command block. I will show a picture on the screen uh, so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but you want to get that command that's inside of that. Uh, copy it to your clipboard doing control C and then go inside of a command block. This command block and do control V. And that's a hell of a long command as you can see. Uh, but then what you want to do, you want to get yourself a button. Uh, you want to get the command block, tap it and that should generate everything for you. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of text on your screen, so I suggest you do game roll. Uh, do uh, it's command block output false. Uh, you do that, and then you should be good to go. So now that you have the box installed, uh, all you need is uh, the mobile uh, extension. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so once you have uh, the mole extension, uh, I mean not the mole extension, uh, well, yeah, once you have the mole extension downloaded and your world saved, uh, you should not be in your Minecraft world at this point. So what you want to do, you want to go into MC Edit. Uh, if you don't know how to download that, uh, I will probably put some sort of tutorial link in the description. Uh, but I've essentially just loaded it up here uh, and it's ready to go. So I'm going to uh, click Quick Load. And as you can see, this is our list of worlds here and our uh, our mole UHC world is at the top here so we're gonna click on that and we've loaded our world and this should bring us to our player location uh, now uh, we're gonna import a schematic so schematics are essentially pre-made sets of blocks in a um, sort of pack I guess uh, I'll show you so to import a schematic um, you're going to first get the mole extension from the description. There will be a link to it. Uh, you want to click import. Uh, and this should bring you to uh, your schematic window. So uh, this should be where, all you, where you save all your schematics. If you download any, uh, try and put them in this folder because uh, then they will instantly appear um, when you do that. This is the file location. Uh, pretty much inside the MC edit folder which you downloaded uh, there should be a schematic folder so inside of here uh, you should be or you should see a mole UHC new box to dot schematic um, so you want to get that click on that and now essentially uh, you're gonna get this bedrock box and uh, you can put this anywhere uh, cl as close to this box as possible so it's something like that uh, it doesn't really matter where the location of this is. There is better rock surrounding it so nobody can get in there. Um, so you should be all good. Uh, once you put it down like that, you just want to press enter or uh, the import button. Okay. 
uh, all right <laughs> or the import button I'll click the import button for this case because why not there we go uh, our box is now imported and that should be everything that you need to do uh, the Molyu T should now be set up uh, just make sure when you get in the game uh, you want to make sure that you load the game up um, choosing just using the UAT block settings uh, choose either teams of three four or five that's the the golden amount for for more UHCs. Uh but other than that you should be good to go the other settings can be chosen as you like there are other UAT blocks extensions that um, you can also add on to it to get more settings etc et uh, that is all optional uh, but the mole box is now imported and should work so to save your world uh, just press control s and now the world is saved and ready to go so all you need to do now is just put this world on the server and you're ready to play mole uhc all right guys i'm just taking a last look in the world before we uh end off here uh so as you can see the the mole uhc module is installed uh this contains all of the command blocks and redstone that you need uh the only thing that you got to make sure of before you start is you want to open this book and as you can see here uh it's a six this is essentially going to randomize all the players on the server onto six teams uh, so you just want to put a number here that makes it so that there are three, four, or five players uh, on each team. Uh, otherwise, there will be teams of two, and the mole will just you would just know who the mole is going to be essentially. Uh, so just make sure of that, and then you should be all good. Uh, all the other options are optional. Get any other modules for this. Uh, it's not going to affect the uh, the mole um, box itself. Uh, if it will, I'll put a title on the screen. If not, uh, you are free to go. Uh, but essentially, that's about it. Uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you wish to see more of these kind of modules in the future, I have a really cool idea for another module, uh, which is kind of a every, nobody's on any team. First player you walk inside of is going to be your teammate sort of thing. I think that will be really awesome. Uh, so if you want to see that, then please make sure to subscribe. And uh, there's going to be more uh, <laughs> there's going to be more videos in the future. So. Uh, yeah, that's about it guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video and bye bye.